full sun, so it's kind of hard for me to see what I've got on here, but this is that magnetic levitation toy again. And uh, I've got it set inside of a of a bird bath, which is kind of cool. But we are in full sun. It's I think it's about two o'clock. I'm not sure. But uh, as you can see, we're we're dead on full sun, and it's not moving on its own. Now, if I accidentally touch it any direction, backwards, forwards, whatever, and I let go of it, it wants to go. And if it gets over that moment of inertia, it'll actually move. If it doesn't, it just kind of rocks. There's a moment of inertia there. Once it gets past that a moment of inertia, away it goes. And it's running pretty fast. It's a neat little toy. I ain't sit and watch it for a long time. Now when you're inside the house, because it's the way it is, it's, it's sensitive, but it takes a lot of power to turn it. And um, I put it under a daylight light and let it run last night. And it would run for uh, about uh, 60 revolutions a minute or so, about one, one a second. But the real neat thing is because the top has got some white uh, on it and some clear on it, it, it left real unique um, uh, flashings, uh, shall you say, you know, when the light bounces off of it. It's real neat reflections. But um, I like this toy. This one's not mine. I bought it for somebody else. Um, so this is pretty much the last video I'm going to do on it. But, again, if you lay it sideways, it'll run faster. And the bottom of those coils there, they have a little copper cover. And I don't know if that's a smaller coil. They just rolled the bigger coil around or what. I'm not sure. But it's a, it's a unique little toy. And if you look on the plant over there, I don't know if you can see it in the video. But I, I, can, I can see it with my eye. There's a reflection running around in circles where you can you can see from the from the toy. Gotta love it. <laughs> it's not a lot of torque. Um, you can stop it real easy. And uh, once you get it stopped, it's you got to get it over that moment of inertia. And depending on where that is, sometimes it's a little bit more than others and you get it to shake. It's really cool watching it shake too. Because you know it wants to go. Kind of like a sterling motor. You get that sterling motor to that point of shaking, you know that it's going to go as soon as it, as soon as it, it gets a little bit warmer on one side or a little colder on the other. And, uh, it wants to go, but it can't go until it gets over that moment of inertia. So that's the solar levitation toy. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.